Hello, my name is Marcus MC, and I got one of, if not the most, powerful armor in Hypixel Skyblock. The armor I'm talking about is Necron's armor. This armor set has a fire slash flame like colorway and comes from the hardest dungeon boss, Necron himself. To get the armor, you first need to get Wither Pieces. These pieces can be gotten from completing floor 7 and claiming them from the chest. However, I'll be buying them from the auction house instead. Notice the pieces that I've bought are all 5 starred and have either growth 6 or protection 6 on them. Well, the stars gives insane boosts when used in dungeons, which I'll later showcase in the video. And for the level 6 enchants, if you're lucky, you can steal one for about the same price as normal pieces. Each of these enchants costs a ton of money, meaning you'll be able to save some cash yet get crazily strong. Moreover, these woofer pieces have the ancient reforge on them, which improves a ton of stats. However, you have probably noticed, why are you using a diamond chest plate instead of a withered one? This is actually a tier 2 perfect chest plate. This chest plate doesn't give damage at all, but it does give a ton of intelligence, health, and most importantly, defense. It also has gemstones in them and is reforged to loving. This makes me be able to tank a bit more than the usual during boss fights slash phases, such as the floor 6 terracotta phase. Here, you can see 4 books that I'll put on my armor. It includes some of the top enchants <coughs> that I can afford and will greatly boost my stats. Now, to upgrade the wither pieces to necron pieces. We need an item named Diamante Handles. They cost about 800k each on the auction house, and in my medium backpack here, as you can see, I have quite a few already. I'm going to buy the rest now. Here's a quick montage of it. There we go. And now that we have all the diamante handles we need, we can start the transformation process. We put the helmet in the middle and the diamante handles surrounding it. And would you look at that? Necron's helmet. This craft right here is well over 10 million coins, but I know that it is going to be worth it. Just look at how much crit damage we can gain. Ooh, it is done. Wait. Did that only give me 100 carpentry XP for crafting one of the best helmets in the game? What? What? Anyhow, I crafted the Necron leggings and the Necron boots right after. And would you look at that? We are in the fit. The diamond chest plate may not match, but it does give me great defense, so I don't mind it. Just look at how cool this armor set is, especially the back of the helmet. It's just so cool to me that I finally reached this stage of the game. The fun doesn't end there. I got some Titanic XP bottles and started putting the enchants onto my armor. Here are my stats with this armor set right now. I also have to mention that I have a legendary baby yeti, which increases my defense by a lot, and even more in dungeons. You may notice that my stats, and mainly crit chance, is kind of bad right now. Here's a quick damage test. However, you have to know that I haven't actually completed floor 7 yet which means most if not all stats don't work at all. So I'm going to have to beat Necron first. The Wither has 1 billion health. How on earth am I going to do that? Well, you gotta start somewhere. So I tried queuing in Party Finder, and after 15 minutes, we started the game. And honestly, I was quite excited. I noticed that the helmet also changes when you're in dungeons, and it looks pretty awesome. I rushed in, hit the Skeleton Prime, and died. Someone brought me in chat, which was understandable. Wow, I just stared at my dead body in disappointment. From that moment onwards, I just knew this wasn't going to work out at all. I didn't want to resort to this, but it looks like I was going to have to get carry. I bought a carry for 3 mil, and while I was waiting for the party to fill up, I saw this. This monstrosity. Honestly, I found it pretty funny for some reason. And someone said in chat that if I found him, he would pay me 500k. For fun, I decided to go look for him. And luck was on my side. Within 20 seconds, I had found him. In a... Wait, in a wall? How? How? I told him I saw him in chat and he just said, Shh. Then shifted acting as nothing happened. Strixie, if you're ever seeing this video, Where's my 500k? Anyhow, the 4-7 run started and of course, I died within 30 seconds. Yeah, I, I know, I'm garbage. Let's skip to the blood room. And, and how did I die so fast? What, I couldn't even recognize what was going on. To the boss fights, which was where the fun began. At the start of the boss fight, we would have to survive the wither skeletons. That dealt insane amounts of damage and had 10 million health. It was so hectic. The moment I saw them, I knew I was dead. How many times am I going to die? I'm I'm just legit trash. 
Dog. Besides just dying to the wither skeletons, we also have to collect the energy crystals. Place them on the stands to charge up the energy laser, which my teammates did extremely fast. When Necron touches the laser, it gets stunned. Here's where my teammates dealt a ton of damage and obliterated a bit of its health already. Necron opens up the floor and brings everyone to a huge battle area. The players will have to go to the platform to move the pillar upwards and smash it onto Necron to make him unconscious. I was focused on looking at the Wither Skeletons and didn't even notice that they already beat Necron to half health. Absolutely insane. Necron then gets enraged and accidentally breaks the floor. This is part 3 of the boss fights, where players have to parkour around and finish the terminals, while Necron slowly explodes everything. Here you can see that they missed the terminal and Necron was right behind them, so one of the players slowed them down by shooting at it, which I thought was quite clever. Soon, all four stages of the terminal rooms were finished, and everyone was brought to the final room. One person used a Juju shortbow, while the other used an Axe of the Shred to finish him off. And just like that, I completed 4-7 for the first time. More so my teammates carried me, but uh, that's not the main point, guys. Am I right, guys? Right after that, I, for some reason, wanted to try a tier 5 rev, which went amazing. Terrible. Terrible. Absolutely horrible. But something that didn't go terribly wrong was when I tried a floor 6 run with my new Necron armor. I was able to deal insane amounts of damage, and I'm talking millions of damage, without having all of the blessings yet. This armor set is just OP. Just, just look at those stats. We beat Saddam with ease, of course. 360 jump click for more luck, and we'll get it someday. Someday I'll drop a giant sword. These are my stats outside of dungeons, and that almost sums up the entire video. I know I could have unlocked and put gemstones in the gemstone slots, recalmed my armor, and so much more to improve it. But I just wanted to get this video out, since I'm trying to keep up with a semi-consistent upload schedule. Keyword semi-consistent. Also, a few days after I finished recording and crafting my brand new set of Necron armor, there was a 30 minute to 1 hour gap that you could craft Black Necron, which was an exotic. So I basically missed out on a billion dollar opportunity. Anyhow, this video cost me well over a hundred million coins. And thanks for watching my video. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed it. Comment something to boost my video on the algorithm. My name is Marcus MC and have a nice day.